Hi, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Cecilio C100 uh, cello that I purchased about two months ago. Um, I've been learning to play the violin uh, along with my kids uh, in their Suzuki classes. But uh, I'd always loved the cello and I figured why not, uh, why not learn to play now that I know how to hold the bow and uh, I know a little bit about the instrument. Uh, so I went ahead and purchased this Cecilio uh, C CCO 100. You can kind of see the sticker in there a little bit. It's a little dark. But uh, anyway, I had an unpacking video that I did uh, when it arrived. And very exciting. Uh, but I just wanted to go over some of the details of the cello. I guess we'll start at the top. Uh, the peg house here, uh, you can see as a nicely done scroll. Um, there are a couple of things that I noticed. So over here, there are some, it looks like pencil marks. Uh, just, this is just finishing things. They don't really affect the, the sound. The uh, peg holes over here, you can see, have a little rough finishing. So you can kind of feels rough around there um, but surprisingly the pegs stay in tune pretty well uh, I expected them to go wildly out of tune you know in the first few days but uh, after tuning it it you know it held uh, it held its notes pretty well for you know days on end uh, without even needing to use the fine tuners uh, one thing I noticed over here too on the nut there's uh, looks like the paint is coming off so it looks like this piece of wood is painted uh, and it's not ebony, uh, as I understand most cellos are. Uh, next, the uh, the fingerboard seems pretty straight. Uh, here, the purfling uh, appears to be painted on, so it's not. I don't know if you can how close it'll focus, but it doesn't appear to be uh, actual inlay. Uh, the bridge has held up pretty well. No complaints about there. Uh, as you can see over here, the string is dug in a little bit, but that's happened on uh, on pretty good bridges that we've had on the kids' violin, so uh, no big uh, no big complaint there. One of the nice things is that it had uh, these fine tuners over here, which make it a lot easier, uh, especially for beginners, to tune their instruments uh, more precisely. And of course, the Cecilia comes with, a, or the kit came with a uh, a tuner, a little digital tuner, which uh, actually works pretty well. Uh, it has uh, chromatic mode, uh, cello mode, uh, violin, guitar, and guitar and bass, uh, which is neat. Uh, one other thing here that I thought was a nice touch was the what appears to be a brass uh, uh, support here. For when you're playing um, and it's adjustable uh, but it seems to be pretty well constructed it's it's pretty solid uh, and it holds it holds pretty well there's a little rubber foot on there that uh, seems to be decently made I think my one biggest complaint well it's not even a complaint my one little complaint is the <clears throat> stand that came with it uh, apparently this piece of um, and it's kind of my fault, really. But this piece of rubber here kind of slid off. It didn't. It didn't stick properly, and uh, resulted in a slight. I don't know if you can see it, scratching of the back of the violin. This is cosmetic. You know, it doesn't affect the sound at all. But it. Um, yeah, it was kind of a bummer. Uh, I was kind of bummed to see that, but uh, otherwise. Otherwise, I think it was a pretty good deal. I don't, uh, you know, I don't have any aspirations of uh, becoming a professional cello player. It was more just to kind of tool around and learn a little bit and see if I could learn some of the Bach pieces that I'd uh, grown to love over the years. Uh, what else can I say? Um, I understand that, oh, the color of this is pretty, uh, it's pretty bright red. I don't know. It shows up here on the screen as, as reddish, uh, orangish, kind of like the uh, the color of uh, General So's chicken, maybe. Uh, if you've 
if, you, if you're familiar with the uh, the Chinese dish. Um, you know, the color, I guess, doesn't. Uh, it's a matter of personal preference. You know, I would I would have liked a, a more traditional color scheme, but this this works fine. The one thing that I've heard or I've read about is that uh, these less expensive violins use um, uh, a wood that hasn't been properly cured sometimes, uh, which can lead to warping and cracking. Um, obviously, two months to a two month old cello isn't going to have those problems, but you know that's something to think about in the long term. Uh, I don't know if I consider this a long term investment. It was, uh, like I said, just to kind of tool around and uh, learn to play the cello a little bit. Um, but uh, I don't know if your needs are different. If you're hoping to, um, you know, play for several years to come, uh, you might want to get a more expensive one but for my knees it was it was perfectly fine um if you have any questions please feel free to leave a comment below and uh, I'll, I'll answer what i can thanks so much